Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I want to talk about CliffX. CliffX is an incredible invention, a language. It's actually a MIDI script made up by this guy, uh, Stray, and his website, uh, Native Control. They make a lot of really awesome stuff over there. But CliffX um, is basically a language that was created in order to expand the functionality of controllers and clips inside of Ableton Live um, so you can accomplish tasks that sometimes require an actual human hand or a, or a specialized controller or something. You can do it all with clips. Perhaps the best way for me to show you what CliffX is capable of is by uh, demonstration. So what I decided to do with this video is focus on CliffX's ability to uh, control the tempo and the clock of Ableton Live uh, in using clips. Um, so what I have right now is I have this drum loop um, and it sounds like this. And what you'll notice is I have all these different clips set up right here, and they have all these different uh, names on them. When you use CliffX, you simply need to make an identifier, which is what this is in a bracket. You could actually say anything you want inside of this bracket. It just kind of tells Ableton that this clip will be a CliffX clip, and that it will be able to parse whatever information you put in after it uh, by putting an identifier in there. So I could, you know... I could rename this to anything, like blah. So one way or another, whatever's inside of this doesn't matter. It's just it helps you identify the clip. Um, you can tell, you can say like maybe a song name or something is in this clip. Um, so anyway, let's get to what actually happens. So right now, listen to this cl clip. If I launch this clip, what it's going to do is it's tell it's going to tell Ableton Live to play the clock at 90 beats per minute as opposed to 100 where it is right now. So check it out. So now we're at 90. I'll play the second clip. Now we're at 100. It also has the functionality to be able to in increment the uh, BPM up and down. So I'm slowing down just by hitting that clip. I can speed back up with the other one. Now with this next clip, I actually can use my MIDI controller to tap the tempo in. The uh, launchpad doesn't even have this functionality normally, but because uh, CliffX is there, I can just launch this clip and tap the tempo in. Now I'm super fast. So now I'm 87 beats per minute because I hit it a little bit slower, so maybe like I'll try to get house tempo. So a tap tempo. And finally, uh, something that I use a lot live. Let me slow this down a little bit. Uh, something that I use a lot live, this last clip right here, this is truly amazing and it really helps uh, organize a set, um, is what, what this identifier on this clip does is it creates a situation where you can BPM ramp up or down over a certain amount of time to a certain speed. So here's my amount of time, eight, eight beats, okay? And here's the tempo, target tempo that I wanna make it to. So when I launch this clip, watch the clock up here. Here we go. Isn't that amazing? It just ramped up to 120 beats per minute. Okay, and so I could make another clip. I'm just gonna double click in here. I'm going to create an identifier, so put anything in the bracket, whatever, all right, and then BPM, ramp, and I'm going to take 12 bars to get to, let's say, 90, okay, so now when I launch this clip, over 12 bars, or beats, I should say, it's going to slow down to 90. So CliffX is huge. It does a million different things. This is only one very small snippet of what you can do with CliffX. CliffX will greatly enhance your sets and allow you to do all the things that you wish you could do with clips or you wish you could do with your MIDI controller. Um, it just has a really, really deep manual 
and you really have to read it in order to understand how to do these different commands. These commands are exactly how they go for, for tempo. So if you just want to start somewhere, uh, I think tempo with CliffX is a great way to do it. If, if you need help installing CliffX, the uh, manual will show you how to do that. It's very easy. There's also some YouTube videos out there. I didn't want to go into the whole install thing. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, enjoy it. Use it. It's incredible. CliffX, everybody.